2 verses number 11 to 12 Titus number 12 chapter 2 verse 11 to 12 the Bible says for the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust we should sleep soberly, righteously and godly in this present world serving God in Satan's uniform is our topic. So we ask ourselves, is it possible we serve God wearing Satan's uniform? Yes, it is possible. That means we need to accept God's grace to teach us to say no to all ungodliness so that when we are serving God, we are serving with God's uniform. Then we ask ourselves, what is uniform? In Revelation chapter 19 and verses 8, and to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. And the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. Vazi lenyewe ni matendo matakatifu, matendo ya watakatifu wa mungu, righteousness of the saints. It is the good works that God gives to us. This is Christ's righteousness obtained to saints. What is Satan's uniform? Satan's uniform is worldliness, which is characterized by wrong appetite, wrong music, wrong lifestyle, and wrong relationship. That is Satan's uniform. Yes, you cannot wear Christ's righteousness, hence portray worldliness. You are either belonging to Christ, or you belong to the devil. But you can still be in church, yet belong to the devil. You can be in church, serving God, yet in worldliness. Then, as we say, our topic today is serving God with certain uniform. What is our mission as the church? So that as we are serving church, we can be wearing wrong uniform. When we ask ourselves, what is the mission of the church? Our mission statement is found in the book of Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 and 19, where Jesus came and spoke unto them, saying, All power has, in earth, uh, has been given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, of the, and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. This is God's church mission. That having give, been given authority, Jesus sends the church that we should go all the world to preach to every living thing, that to preach to everybody, so that you also baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. It is my mission. It is your mission. That is why through these last three months of 2023, we have been talking about God's mission, my mission. Through these five years, we will be talking about I will go. I will go out there. I will make others disciples. I baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I will go. You will go. My mission is what God's mission is. That is to reach the world, to reach those perishing. And when we are going there, we are not going by our power. We are going to be led by the power of the Holy Spirit. That is the power that Christ gave us and he sent us to the world. And since our mission is to convert the world and not the world to convert us, it is surprising that Instead of us combating the world, the world is combating us to be like them. We are eating like them. We are dressing like them. We are sitting like the world. Jesus is waiting eagerly and asking, where is my children? Who are my representatives? Just like Isaiah, God is asking us, whom shall I send and who will go for us? It is surprising that we are saying, Pastors will go, evangelists will go, we will give our money for that others will go. But are you going? 
in your school, in your colleges, in your university, whom are you portraying? Are you preaching Christ or you are preaching worldliness? We asked ourselves the other day, what have they seen? What are people seeing in you? Today we are asking, are we going to the mission? Are you taking Jesus' mission, Jesus' word outside there? Or we are borrowing worldliness to ourselves? Are we preaching using worldly ways? Or you are preaching using Christ's way? During this church mission that I will go, you ask us ourselves, as we are going outside there, as we are preaching outside there, what is the world doing? Are we taking Christ or we are borrowing the world to the church? Christ's mission, my mission. God's mission, my mission. We are supposed to teach. Teach what? In fact, I love this Matthew 28 verses 19 quotation. God says that we go and teach all nations. It is not only to preach, but we should teach. Teach in what manner? In the way we walk, in the way we communicate, in the way we sing, in the way we are relating, in the way we eat. We should be teaching the world about how good Jesus is to our life. We are to teach all nations what Christ has commanded us, and not to be taught by the world how they are living, how they are eating, how they are dressing, how they are singing, how they are relating. We instead are to teach them what Christ has taught us. It is surprising today to see the church, instead of teaching the world about Christ, the world is teaching us about how we relate. Even the devils are trying to teach us today how we should be living. And instead of working with Christ, instead of depending on Christ and having faith in Him and working hard the way we, He told us that we must work, it is surprising that today we are running for the devil in order for them, for the devil to give us money, for the devil to give us riches, for the devil to give us way forward. Instead, we should be running to Christ and Christ alone. We should have to be baptizing the world, but I'm surprised that the world is baptizing us. Instead of being baptized by the world, by the Christians, we are, the world is baptizing the Christians. Hence, don't let the world baptize you in the waters of immoral lifestyle, bad food, and everything else. Instead, we should baptize the world into Christ's kingdom. What are we talking about? The world in turn has taught the, the church so that we begin to preach the gospel wearing Satan's uniform. When we, are out, when we go outside there, we think that we know Jesus enough. But when we try to teach Jesus, instead we are teaching worldliness. My brother has just taught us all the kind of music. Those outside there used to know that Adventists are the only ones who know to sing. But I'm surprised in my former church, name with help, a brother came during our launching of music. Our Adventist music. We were launching. A brother came with a sister. I'm surprised that we sold the sister's CDs. All of them and people were asking more. But this brother had employed those people who called them dancers. Imagine an Adventist paying for those dancers outside to come and dance with his music. It was so surprising that all the people who bought those CDs thinking that they were Adventist music, when they bought them, they said, ah ah, to come as a dance and torture. We don't need them. Everybody returned to the CD that they had bought and said, return our money. We called the brother, we told him, everybody that bought the CDs has required us to return the money. And we have returned the money and your CDs get them back. The man regretted having produced thousands of CDs and all of them were not sold. Because of what? Yes, the message is good, the message is Adventist, but the dancing is outside. 
fighting God using Satan's uniform. How can we serve God using Satan's uniform? The Bible tells us that we need to teach the world what Christ has commanded us in Matthew 28 verses 19. But look at what uh, Sister Ellen G. White is telling us in the book Great Controversy, page 901 and first paragraph. She says this, conformity to worldly customs converts the church to the world. It never converts the world to Christ. When we start dressing like the world, nobody will be saved. When we put some dancing in our songs, no one will come to Christ. When we put on some shabby lifestyle, the way we are, walk, we are walking, walking as if there are thorns in our legs. We are not converting anybody to Christ. We are converting them to worldliness and making them twice the sons of hell. When you eat anything and everything, instead of eating something, you are not converting anybody. I've been walking around and when I say, Sikuni Madani, the first question people ask, are you an Adventist? How do they link lack of taking tea leaves with that medicine? They know. That means even how we eat, the relationship we have in the school, in our secondary school, in our primary, in our colleges, those boyfriends and girlfriends we have, people will realize if we are Christians or not. If you try to be like them, you are not conforming to Christ. Otherwise, you are not bringing anybody to Christ. And that is why our sister says, conformity to the world customs converts the church to the world. And that is why I told one of our, my colleagues to visit our church. We had a, what we call sub, uh, Sabbath school Sabbath. Whereby we were supposed to invite a visitor because it was a Sabbath school day. You have to invite any visitor from any denomination. When I tried to invite others, one of the ladies in my working place told me to my face that make a The only problem I have is, imagine, today is a Friday, yesterday I made my hair. 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 I tried to convince her that Jesus still will accept her, let her come. That lady told me, Bro, to see Danganame, me, me, I do a camisa na SBA, na me, I do a visuru wa na fuata bibiria, me, me, suga me, lady, me, kuja na camisa ya no, apana, so it's good that we pisha mungu yuko. I realized, oh, so they know, kusuka me, I belong to the world. I asked her, but why do you wait to your church? She told me, ah, and I realized one thing here outsiders knows that true Bible followers are in our church but the problem is we also have in You know, you can come, maybe even in our church, there are others who are having less like He said, no, 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 no. Come up to my window, you can say, I'm going to be starting to go to my What is the feeling that you want to I was speechless. He preached to me that Adventist church is the only church you know they are following the Bible. But today, many Adventists are converted to the world instead of bringing others to Christ they themselves are marching to the world when we are trying to tell our youth that we need to change and conform to be like Christ and start marching you are marching to Zion beautiful, beautiful Zion our brothers and sisters 
who have confirmed to the world are busy. When they are singing, marching to the Zion, they are singing, You are marching to hell. Beautiful, beautiful hell. And then the hell is beautiful. You do your hair like this. Beautiful, beautiful hell. Brothers and sisters, are you trying to wear a certain uniform and you think that you will convert the world? No, it is never possible. You can never serve God in Satan's uniform. We cannot use worldly methods to preach to others. You can never use worldly styles to preach to the world. I think don't go there, yes. Don't go there, don't go there, yes. And then we start doing this. And then we think the world will be converted. No! They will be entertained. One day, my brother from TZ, we had a music extravaganza here in Nakuru town. Sometimes back. It has been some years back. And then, it was a music extravaganza. I don't know exactly who organized. But all denominations were, up, were what? Were invited. It happened that those people who sing the pulpit. They sang, they sang, they vibrated, they did everything. Those people in town were watching. They were watching all, all along and they were not talking. Finally, the Adventist church was called. Ah, the Adventist sang. They were marching. And you know, true Adventists, when they are going to the pulpit, they don't just come like bees. From Sunda. They don't come like this in the house. I notice when they are coming to Jukua, they sit in an organized manner. Maybe if it's a Kiango Central, they sit in this manner. And then they follow their chairs. The way they sit, they sit in a systematic manner, even according to their voices. Soprano sit here, alto sit here, tenor sit there, and bass is there. So that as they wake up, they wake up and follow the same, same one line and start singing. After singing, they march in the same order, going back. That is an organization. When they came to the Jukwa during those days in Akuru, as they wanted to march out, people shouted, Another one! Another one! Ingine! Ingine! And you know the way we are so clever. Because we don't want to finish the time for others, as they were singing the second one due to public demand, they started singing, and in the last one, they were just moving systematically, slowly, and they marched around slowly, in a very good manner. And finally, before people realized, they were out of Chukwa, they were down there and seated. Then, another church, X, was called to the Chukwa. As they were singing, the Manambas, those people at, and the Chokoras and the rest, they nearly stoned them. They were saying, you prostitute, get out of there. Let the Christians sing. What did they see? They were praising God using Satan's uniform. Everybody came, everything came standstill because they wanted the Adventists to go back to Jehovah for singing. And they were when other the churches, even the former churches, when they were coming to sing, they said, Toma Iyo, Toma Iyo, and they started throwing some dirt, some stones, until there were no uniformity. What am I saying? You cannot preach the word using Satan's uniform. I was talking about using worldly the music, styles. Even the way you dress, you cannot convert anybody through the way you are dressing, wrongly, like the world. You cannot convert the world if you are in worldly lifestyles. You only convert to God when you are transformed in your inner mind and you are transformed in your body. Others have been telling me, you look at, look at my sister here. Very smart. Because of goodness, go out, 
preaching Christ in Christ's uniform, not preaching Christ in worldliness. That is Satan's uniform. Ask yourself, how am I preaching this Christ? When I'm going along the road, when people see me, I may tell my youth this way. Dress the way you want to be addressed. The way you dress that skirt. Don't touch my buttocks. Don't touch my buttocks. In a little of layer and t-shirt one. Such that when you went like this, it also goes up. Children can listen. What am I saying? You cannot preach in that mode. And that is why the way you are dressed, when those border border guys, I don't blame them. They are also in the market looking for someone. You will either find one coming across to you and say, What else do you want? You could barely explain the Kanisani. But you find another and say, Mrepa Niyadi, Sudandia. Now, Kidandia, when you come, you know it's good to say something and say it correctly. This is the Boga. When you come, those ones, and the police are Niyadi Mrepo. If you are coming to church, or going out of the church, and the border, border man stops them on the way and tells you, Niyadi Mrepo, you are preaching Christ using Satan's uniform. But if you are called sister, no, you are in a good place. And when that sister alights to the border, or, or rather reports the border, if you sit, those sisters sit like this, and the border is going the other side. And that border man will not tell you, come closer. Will only ask, are you seated properly? Makati Missouri. But this other one, the item rainbow, climbs the border like this. And when you climb like this, the man asks, So that's all the man will say, okay. Come close, come closer. And when you don't come closer, he will teach you that you know you don't know. What does he do? And then what do you do? Yourself, you come closer. And the coming closer, he thinks that you have not come closer enough so that he can fix your things on top. What does he do? He runs very fast and applies an emergency break. You come closer. Yes, that's good. What am I talking about? You cannot serve God in the worldly passions and think that. You will convert anybody. What am I saying? Look at this music. Are those kinds of music that we serve God with? Don't digital. Digital generation. Not. You cannot serve God using Satan's uniform. Those are the churches. Now this is Adventism. Are we following the same trend? Yes. We have gone there. Look. To not put up on the board and have us ask that. Serving God using Satan's uniform. I put up on the board and have us ask that. We are coming slowly. Look at that when it is us. May the church. How are you dressed when you are going to church? God does not look at my body. He looks at my heart. From which version of the Bible is it written that God is looking at your heart, not your body? To show me a verse that says God is not concerned with your body, he is concerned with your heart. Then I give you a verse that God is concerned with your body. And not only one verse, but if you are 20. Yes, when you are in church, you are going to be a lesson. You cannot suppress me that you are going to church. You cannot preach to the word of Christ. You cannot reveal Christ when you are dressed in Satan's uniform. Yes, what are we talking about? Serving God in Satan's uniform. In the book of John, chapter 17, verses 14, the Bible says, I have given them thy word. And the world have hated them because, because 
they are not of the world. Even I, Christ, am not of the world. We don't belong to this world, and that is why we should not behave like them. We belong like to, to Christ. And that's why yesterday I said, what did they see in Christ until they divided his clothes? What are they seeing in you so that they can follow you to this church? Are they seeing Christ or they are seeing their own uniform? Are they seeing good things or bad things? Jesus ate with the sinners, but not indeed with their worldly lifestyle. I did not say when your brother is not saved, you should protect that family. No. We can stick it to them, go to school with them, be in the same class, be in the same the best, but don't behave like them. Yes, be separated. The way you eat. When others, children, are leaving their shirts hanging, and the school room says, tuck in, put tuck in. When they are saying, put on your nectar, put it. When it is time for games, go games, watch up, la, 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 la. can you behave differently? Yes. Be like Christ, who is our picture. Look at you. When you go swimming, does it mean you will become a fish? And if you go today to go and swim, will you become a fish? The same way, if you come to church, you cannot, we cannot call you a Christian because we are in the church. Some of you are not pretenders in the church. That is why we don't fear anybody. What am I saying? We need to be like Jesus. Okay, we live in a world that our living, but living by heavenly principles. Let me go back a little bit to this and explain this. When you go swimming, it doesn't mean that you have become a fish. The same way church attendance does not guarantee that you have become a Christian. You should be converted. You should be changed. Let us see it from the way you are living. Let us see that Christ in the way you are living. In John chapter 17 verse 15, Jesus said, I pray not that thou should take them out of the world, but that should keep them from the evil. We are still in this world, but we should always ask Christ to keep us from this evil. To help us to help us to change. We live in this world, but we live using heavenly principles. And as we live in this world, we need Jesus to keep us always from that evil. Yes. What is the world looking at us? We need Jesus to keep us from evil, not what the world thinks about us. We don't need Facebook to know how to live. We don't need social media. We don't need TV to, in order to behave. We need Jesus. We need this word. We need this Holy Spirit to change us so that we may behave, live, and act according to the presence of Jesus. Yes, my brother, in verse 16 of the book of John, the Bible says, They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Since we don't belong to this world, we need to be changed, to be transformed, to be like Jesus. We need to convert the world to the church. Not converting the church to the world. We also need you can win someone to church building using those bad characters, but you cannot win them to Christ. What am I saying? You can win someone to a denomination called SDA, but not to heaven. Someone once told me, Madam, that Unajua, Nikioleo Quinjet, Nitamuleto Moto Kanisa. Yes, you will bring him to church, but you will not bring him to Christ. Wherever I am, you will see the next group news as I'm a Motamuana Moku for social media. You need to be changed, you need to be converted, and stop serving God using Satan's uniform. Some of us, in the daytime, this is what we behave. In the evening, this is what we behave. What is your character portrayed? Are you serving God 
using Satan's uniform. One day, in our place, a brother, having go, got a good Christian girl, thought that she had got, he had got a wife material. Luckily enough, he had some other friends who are not Christian outside there. They saw this man every time when they are coming to church, coming and singing together and praising God. Then one brother outside there approached this guy and asked him, Brother, the way I see you are coming to church from church with that girl, I suppose that you are a friend and he said, You are a good friend. Do you propose that you want to marry her? The man said, Of course. The man asked him, do you know that I'm very mad? Ah, she sits quiet. She even conducts many things, many things in church. I love her. She loves me. And even she comes from a good background and a good family. I know her very much. This man told me, you don't know the lady. I know her. The man said, mm -hmm. The man asked, said, and confirmed to him that, I know him more than you know him. He said, what do you mean? He told you. He said, what do you mean? He told you. So we to I want to show you the real ha. The real ha. Agree that you will not cause chaos. The man promised I will not cause chaos. Then he told him, let's meet at exactly 7.30 p.m. today by the market. Wapi? karibu na A, B, C, D, Ba. At Ba. Mr. Your brother, I want to help you. You are our own model, model in our village. We love your Christianity, but you are about to enter the wrong place. Please, see, I'm not telling you to come and pray or come to the bar. I just want you to come near that place. I want to show you something. Okay, I will come. The man promised. That evening, that same Sabbath, after doing the worship, of closing down the Sabbath, the man went to meet his friend. His friend told him, Now, don't you see it is dark? There's this lamp. That street light. How do you call it? Brother, do you have those big lights? They are mounted in the market, maybe strategically, so that they can be everywhere. So this man asked the Christian brother, I want us to stand here where the roof is protecting us so that that light cannot shine on us because I want to show you something. Then the man was curious, what exactly are you doing in this dark place? He told him, I want you to stand here. You see the light is illuminating towards the bar. I want to see to show you something today that you have never known in your life. As they were standing there, towards 8 p.m., the lady with a man came walking, laughing. She was in a trouser, a tight one, even night a stressor, and some boot tops in Onesha Tumbo. They were holding hands and walking towards the bar. This man was surprised to be that. That lady Agnes, that sings in choir, was the one walking with this man. The brother wanted to confront her. The man told him, we had promised one another that you will cause no chaos. Please stand up and become a man. Keep quiet because you have not seen it yet. I want you to have enough evidence. They, were just, they watched. The lady went in with the man. Then the other friend asked this Christian, don't think they are going to take soda inside. Follow me. We will not go to bar. I will not take you to bar, but I want you to stand near the door where you can peep and see who is and what she is taking. My brother, my sister, you will become surprised. The lady was taking alcohol like nobody's business. While the man was drinking, Slowly, the lady was holding the bottle. Then he asked for the 
big one. You call it black and white. A Christian would have black and white. Yeah, come on, I do black and white in the one here. He took black and white and I got two by me. Hey! The man was so surprised. And as soon as he became surprised, the time came. Children, and then get the children. This man was so surprised. He wanted to run home. The man told him, the friend told him, no, let's wait. At about 9.30, they were coming out. Now the lady was holding the man anywhere. The man was holding the lady anywhere. And when I mean anywhere, you know what I mean anywhere. Everywhere, squeezing, squeezing, putting the hand inside the trouser of this lady because it was a stretcher. And I come corner, and the lady was doing this. They were so drunk. Then the man friend advised the Christian, now it is time to reveal your identity. He pulled the Christian man, come to the light. Let's stand here as they are coming. When the lady came and realized that it was the brother standing on the way, only to realize that the brother is in front of him. The one they were sitting together, discussing the lesson together. The lady said, I can explain. Is there any other explanation? Serving God using Satan's uniform. It is surprising that today our youth, instead of teaching and learning how to obey God, they are busy in their Facebook. This is our churches. They no longer carry the Bible, they no longer carry some book, they no longer carry lessons. They are telling you everything is in the Bible. But when you go closer, whatever they are, they are in Facebook. They are chatting. They are in WhatsApp. They are chatting. They are in Instagram. They are following up memes. And you find them as if they are laughing. They are not laughing what the preacher is saying. They are laughing with what they are saying on their phones. Serving God using Satan's uniform. Romans chapter 12 and verses number 2. And be not conformed to this one, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove that what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Not all good things are perfect. What did I say? Not all good things are perfect. But we are told not to conform to this world. But be transformed by the renewing first of our mind. That you may know, may prove what is first, good, second, acceptable, that perfect will of God. Is what we are wearing and say that it is good. Is it acceptable? Brother, whatever you are wearing, whatever hairstyle you put on your head, ladies, that hair makeup. You call it this good, and when you do this, you feel good. Is it acceptable? That relationship you are having, is it acceptable? You say, yeah, it's good, it's good to have it. That place you are having, is it good? Yes. But is it acceptable? If it is acceptable, is it acceptable then in the church? Can you come with it here and start doing good God's glory? If it is, is it the perfect will of God? Those three answers you should answer for yourself. Anything you eat, anything you put on as dressing, any hairstyle you put upon your head, anything you do in a relationship, ask yourself, number one, is it good? If your answer is yes, ask, is it acceptable? If it is not dressed, are you able to wear it and sit with your dad comfortably? Man, are you able to walk with that trouser, put it on very well, and be with your mom? Is it acceptable? If it is yes, go to the third answer. Is it the perfect will of God? If no, then everything else is wrong. Serving God using Satan's uniform. The only mind cannot comprehend God's will. We cannot see it and dress like the world and expect the world to come to Christ. It will never happen. Everything we see 
or here affects our mind. Those music in your phone, ask yourself the same question. Are those music good? It is good. When I listen, I feel my heart is good. Is it acceptable? There are songs in our community that when you listen, you can never listen them with your parents. Songs like Nishika for the Poland Women in Nuka Can you listen with your mother? If it is acceptable, is it acceptable in the whole community? If it is, yes, is it the perfect will of God? When you are singing that song in your song, you make a year for you, you will not see that And this is it to be there. Is it the perfect will of God? If you think it is good, is it acceptable? Is it the perfect will of God? If no, then it is a wrong thing. Living the, like the one, living the, like the one is advancing with worldly agendas. So stop living like the one, live like Christ, serving God using Satan's uniform. We are living like the one standing God using certain uniform. This is what turned Kenya. I actually took it live from my own TV. HCK. Men dressed like women singing. I hope you did not see that. Maybe you are singing the song. Look at it. Again. What channel? Men. These are not women. They are women. They were singing to God. Wearing snacks, Adventist church, Adventist channel, Adventist song, serving God using Satan's uniform. Our sister Ellen Jewett says this in the book Testimonies for the Church, Volume 5, that spirit of prophecy, pages 112 and 113. The society of unbelievers, the society of unbelievers will do us no harm. The society of unbelievers will do us no harm if we mingle with them for the purpose of connecting them with God and are strong enough spiritually to withstand their influence. You get this? The society of unbelievers, those who are around us, will do us no harm if the only purpose we are going to them is to preach to them. But if we are going to them there to do some other businesses, you will fail terribly. And that's why I say, our only purpose is converting the world. Our only purpose is converting the world without the world converting us. We need to convert other people. Let them not convert us. To a badination, well, was to badination. How will we do that? Connect with God or connect with the power of God through personal relationship with Jesus Christ. You need to connect to God so that God can use you to convert others. My brothers, my sisters, it is time, sorry, it is time that we need to convert to God through personal relationship with Christ Jesus. In the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 15, verse number 20 and 21, we have a good example of a king who served God using Satan's uniform. This is King Saul. The Bible says, And Saul said unto Samuel, Yeah, I have obeyed the voice of God, and I have gone the way, I have gone the way which the Lord sent me. I have brought Agar, king of Amalek, and have utterly destroyed the Amalekites. But the people took the spoil, sheep, oxen, the chief of the things which should have been utterly destroyed, to sacrifice unto the Lord thy God in Gilgal. You cannot serve God through disobedience. Saul was told to give everything, human beings and animals. But out of his greed and disobedience, took some animals in the name of sacrificing. You cannot go and do prostitution so that you can get money to build the church. You cannot do betting so that you can bring time to the church. Stay with your money. You cannot serve God using Satan's uniform. Let me repeat that. Where is the fact that 
ili usaidie Mungu kujenga kanisa ama kuleta sadaka. Auweze hata kufanya beti wewe kijana na kamari alafu useme ati nimeleta pesa tumalizie kujenga kanisa ama kununua mitambo. You can never serve God using Satan's uniform. Just like the way Saul is trying to say nilikuwa naleta hii tulete sadaka. Did God need his disobedience? No. Another example in the book of Second Timothy, chapter four, and verses number ten. From Demas has forsaken me, having loved his present world, and his is departed unto the Salonica, Crescens to Galatia, and Titus to Dalmatia. Paul had companions, brothers, fellow youth who are preaching together. To his surprise, he started going wayward. Anaenda na kamata disco. Wanaubiri hapa wakimaliza jioni yuko kama pia juu kama pia chini. Paul said he has left him. He was having God using Satan's uniform. You cannot leave God without leaving the church. Don't fool yourself. You can never leave God without leaving the church. They must let Jesus who can deliver us from this place at all according to the will of God our Father. Then we ask ourselves, since we have realized that we can never serve God using Satan's uniform, is there a solution? Can we have a solution? Yes, we can have a solution. Second Timothy chapter 2 verses 11 to 12 for the grace. Wow! So there is good thing, eh? There is a way out. Yes, for the grace of God not our own doing, not our own efforts. For the grace of God has appeared unto all men. Which is that grace that brings salvation? For the grace that brings salvation has appeared to all men. When you accept this grace, it will teach you. Teaching us deny ungodliness and worldly lust. Kwa maana neema ya Mungu imefunuliwa it will teach us to say no to any ungodly lust and not only that it will also teach us to live soberly, righteously and godly where? in this present world when everybody has experienced immorality and they are still singing in choir the grace of God will tell you no When everybody else is putting on, men are putting rasters, women are putting wigs and wigs. Grace of God will still tell you, no, don't put it, be natural. When everybody else is putting on Mwarisho, and then when they put on Mwarisho, they put on a big trouser the size of his father and big shoes. And then, in order for the trouser not to fall up to down there, you start walking like this. And then, so that the trouser cannot fall. So what happened? You start walking like a chimpanzee. You walk like a chimpanzee trying to prevent your trouser from falling. When everybody else is doing that, those who accept God's grace, God's grace will say, no, don't put it. When everybody, brother, are busy running, and downloading reggae, raga, hip hop, and the rest, the grace of God will tell you, no, that place is evil. Believe it. When after everyone else is watching pornography, God's grace will teach you not yet to access those sites. When you see them, you delete them. When everybody else is trying to paint their faces, when you are black, try to become brown. When you have a slim battle, you try to make it a big one. When everyone else is running, God's grace will teach you to say, No, I am beautiful and wonderful. Amen. Amen. When God, when all the world is running here and there to behave, eat, drink, and sing, God's grace will tell you, No, God is. Worship with reverence. 
Maisha ni sina kizuri Niwe puna tama Kutenda jambo nilo mjema Hilo sinipati You will be singing with reverence Because of God's grace Amen, Amen. And that is why we say The only way is to accept God's grace To teach us to say No to unworthiness And only Only True heart conversion And what again? Total surrender To who? To Jesus Christ Can we be free from worthiness Which is equal to Satan's uniform We will be serving God with Christ's righteousness Serving God using God's uniform Yes, serving God purely That is the only solution In the book of Romans chapter number 12 And verse number 1 The Bible says I beseech now I see him. I I ask you very softly. I beseech you, Yakin in our I beseech you by the masses of God, brethren. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the masses of God, to do what? That you present your heart. Your heart? No, your bodies, yes, that you present your bodies. From your head to your toe. From your front to your back. That you present your bodies. Not your hearts. Kwanzia kicho. Mbaka migu. Kwanzia hapa mbele. Mbaka uko nyuma. That you present your bodies as a living sacrifice. As a dead one? No. Atutesa kaka mingi? No. As a living sacrifice. Which sacrifice is it? Holy. Second one, acceptable unto God. Oh, give your body, make it holy, make it acceptable before God. And that is your reasonable service. That is the only service that is acceptable. You can sing so much. But when I go to the no, that one will not take anywhere. You preach so much, but what is going on? No, you bother in our is when you give your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable before God. Yes, our bodies should be subjected to godly use alone. There is a need for great sacrifice in our part. Sasa na hii nenda nimeweka juzi na nilinunua 500 na tena nikasukiwa na 1000. Aki nitupe hiyo pesa. Yes, sometimes it needs sacrifice. Yaani ni chama hilo ya marisho yake kabisa. Eh, chama na utlete mzuri yenye nashika nzuri kama yao. Aki ni chama hii marinda na nilinunua expensive. Imagine nunua tu dao. Si fupi sana. Si unaona si fupi sana. You need to burn it. Choma. Kama uko na hiyo choma. Kama uko na bangu sikuwa mkono lete Kama utai kuchoma lete Niko tayari kusaidia kuchoma Niko na mwoto wapa alamu Kutai choma Niko wapa jikoni Nita kusaidia kuchoma If all your dresses are short And you don't have even a long one Ata moja Come and see me It is sacrifice in our parts And a great sacrifice In what conversion Haiku yu automatic you must work for it. Lazima useme, leo ni leo na ni mayamua, I will never be the same. I need to be converted. God uses the heart that surrenders to him. He doesn't use an arrogant heart. He uses the only heart that surrenders to him. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse number 18, and I read, And what agreement has the temple of God temple of God. What is the relationship between this temple of God and those earrings? What is the relationship between this temple of God and those idol hair, hair in your head? What is the relationship between this good temple of God without minister? What is the temple of God doing without Kamuharisho? What is the temple of God doing without Spangos? Is there a relationship? No. For you are the temple of the living God. 
that to your friend and tell, tell him or her, you are the temple of the living God. Just turn, brother, turn to your brother, turn to each other, tell somebody, even tell him, the cameraman, you are the temple of the living God. Yes, we are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will dwell, hey, I love that. God does not say, I will dwell in your side, now where I can do it. God does not say with an God says, I will dwell in, in them. Wow. That means after removing this idol, God is ready to come inside. And what does he say? I will dwell in them and walk in them. I will be their God and they shall be my people. Wherefore? Come out from among them and be ye separate. Ondoka, now go to fault. Get out and be separate. Therefore, come out among them and be separate. Says who? The Lord. And when he says that, he says, and touch not the unclean things. He's on the chapel door. He's on Yari. He's on Yere Zabandia. He's on. Don't touch those unclean things. When you have done that, God says, and I will receive you. And I will be a father unto you. And you shall be my sons and daughters. Says, says the Balamite. God needs to change you. How many this evening or this afternoon are saying together with